No kissing. Not on this Christian streaming channel. <laughs> well, okay. Do you want to? Do you want to do it? We're so wholesome. We're, re we're totally. Re we're we're ready. The, Everything's the most of PG up. channels. <laughs> PG channels. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. That, I'm not allowed on the PG channels. Right. Um, bad cool. influence. I am a bad influence. <laughs> well, we may as well. We may as well start. Um, yep. So, what I can <laughs> what I can remember from last time. Um, basically, it kind of you went to various places. You found out various things. Um, you've got a kind of a couple of quests, almost from people who would like you to do some stuff. Um, after going and speaking to the townmaster, you ended. Um, it was I think was it Rowan and Kala um, left the building. Rowan was going to try and take Kala back to the inn to try and sleep off her hangover. You were accosted yeah. by um, three three red brands. Um, I think it was four. Was it not four? four. Yeah. Might have been four. Um, you killed three of them and have captured one of them and you have taken um you've gone into the um the abandoned woodworker's house with this um this captured red brand um, did we you... take two of them we just took we just maybe no we killed the one that tried to run away yes i thought we killed two and we captured two we killed two, then one tried to run away. And yeah, we captured that us. one. And oh, okay. there was and another then, one. Um, Freya stabbed the other one in the like the kneecap or something. Yeah. I oh yeah, he looks dead. Sorry. Yeah. So did you dra have you dragged them both away? I couldn't quite remember. I think so. That's okay. what I have in my notes, but That's, I didn't. You're the one. You're, you guys are the ones who are taking notes. I'm the one who can't remember from one day to the next. So. I will trust you guys. You have two of them, and you it are in the wood. The in the abandoned woodworker's house, which is the house of the um, the man who was um, killed by the red brands, and his family have gone missing. And that's where you are at. So, what would you like to do? And ha can you hear the music, by the way? Mm. I can hear the background noise. This is a little bit of back. Uh, this yeah, is a little it's... bit, a bit, little bit of background noise. As long as it's not too loud. You know who totally spaced and forgot to turn on her second computer with um, roll twenty. Let me, let me, let me, <laughs> let me try and guess. Let me try and guess. <gasps> oh, look at eh? it! It looks really cool. Look at your pad. I've got a contents page and everything. It's... Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm pretty sure he said he's writing it as Rowan. What did you call me in that? Uh, <clears throat> mouth is loose is a common tavern wench. <laughs> this is true. Um, what time is it? Um, it is now. I think I said that it was probably about. It was about. It was after. It was after lunch when you went to the town masters. You probably were there for an hour or so, so so, they, so we'll say it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And we've just like taken these two guys into this abandoned house. Yeah, basically, happened. you were quite lucky because as soon as people saw the scuffle, because they're so scared of the red brands, everyone kind of vanished and went into houses and various other places around. So there was nobody really within in the sort of the t almost like the kind of green the tap the, sort of the, the center so nobody really saw what you were doing i mean they might have been peeking out the windows but i don't think there's gonna there's no it doesn't look like there's gonna be any problems with anything because people are too scared anyway of these red brands so, okay. so we are, we're in the woodworkers right yep you're in the woodworkers which um, is the one well, maybe it's time rowan applies his <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation check. <laughs> so how are we gonna do this? Yeah. Good goblin, bad goblin? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think good goblin is going to <laughs> Bad be... goblin, bad <laughs> goblin. <laughs> 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 we we grow closer every day. <laughs> okay. Um okay, so I will have I didn't I use some of my rope to tie 
on the uh, yes you did tie their hands yep. so i'm probably dragging that one yeah so i'll like can i like find a chair to put him in yeah that's fine there's plenty of um there's plenty of furniture around it hasn't been that long really since these people the the murder and since these uh the family disappeared so everything there's it's not like it's like dusty or there's problems or everything's kind of already like all set up um okay like so, just like a normal house so yeah of course you can find a chair that's no problem and he's been injured so i'm not going to need you to make a check we'll just say that you you plonk him down, you bind his hands to the back of the chair if that's Take what he wants on it. to do. Um, okay, so I've put him in the chair and I say to him, listen, just, we're going to ask you some questions and just tell us I've had a really bad morning. <laughs> so just <laughs> listen to us. Otherwise, you might get an arrow in the eye. Um, he He looks at you and he goes, he goes, I'm not telling you anything. It's it's more than my jobs. It's more than my jobs worth. It's more than my jobs worth. I'm telling you nothing. And he kind of like shuffles about a bit, and it looks quite uncomfortable. Um, is it more than your life is worth? <clears throat> he looks over at you, and he goes, "You're not half as scary as the people that I work for." No, but you might find I am, and you can't work if you have no working legs, my good man. Okay, um, Rowan, make an intimidation check for me, then, please. That is fourteen. Okay. Um, he he looks at you, and he looks down at his legs, and um, looks back up again, <clears throat> and he goes. Well, I can tell you that the 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 person who's in charge is called Glassstaff. Um, he's a he's a wizard. Um, he's got his staff is made of glass. I guess that's why he's called Glassstaff. Um, and he he's up at the up at the up at up at our stronghold up at the banner. He doesn't do that because his hands are behind his back, but he does that. <laughs> like that. Um, Lay off like a seal. Just he cool. says. And, and he kind of like it kind of shifts uncomfortably and kind of looks away again. I imagine there'll be a lot of people missing you up at the manor. How many people would you say are missing you at the manor at the moment? How many people live there? He um, and he sort of looks up at you and he goes, I'm "Telling you nothing. I'm telling you nothing. I'm not. Do I'm, I'm. I'm no. I'm no snitch. I'm not, I'm not dobbing anyone in." I put. Do you reckon my charm person would help? in this situation. Well, we do have another person to play off of as well. Hmm. I mean, Aramil's terrifying, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Is my thing. I was like, totally. well, we've not all tried yet. Let's do, you let do, the wizard you can, address. You can do it. You can do a charm per... You can try, <gasps> char you can try, try charm person on him. Oh, Ash is... Sorry, Rowan oh, is doing an excited... Is, is it all one room in the Woodcutter's house, or is there, like, a separate little closet or anything like that? Um, there's a cellar. Um, could I... Could I, um... If this is going down the torture route, Ooh, I don't think you're alive. Oh, guys! On the could level. I, um... Press your buttons. I am. Sorry. <laughs> could, could I, um... I'll turn to my compatriots and go... Is it okay if I borrow him for a second downstairs, and I'll uh, return with him short? I raise an eyebrow. <laughs> it would sure. very much please me. Okay, can I take him into the cellar? You can. The one who's the the one who's bound up on the chair, or the other guy. With uh, the or the other guy with the um the the stabbed knee cap. Uh, <laughs> can I take the the one on the chair to just drag the chair into the cellar? <laughs> yeah, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> do do um do a strength check for me, please. That is a fifteen. Okay, you grab the back of the chair and you basically pull him along. So you tip the chair back and you pull him a lot. Pull the chair. <laughs> Still tied, so he's still tied to the chair, and he's being pulled backwards, not really knowing what's going on, and he can't see behind him. 
and you slam open the cellar door and you grab hold the chair and you pull the chair down. So it's like dunk, 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 <laughs> down, um, down. Um, the cellar is pitch black. Um, right. Apart from the um, the slight sort of chink of light from the open door, which is obviously still open. Okay. Um, can I then make a performance check to make it sound like I'm beating the living crap out of this man? <laughs> So if I go, I see what oh, you're so doing. you're not gonna talk, are you? Well, dish, oh, please, I'm just a humble little red brand. Please put me down. Oh, well, I'll see how this goes then. <laughs> you can make, you bloody hell, you can make a performance check with advantage after that little, little show. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 18. Uh, yeah. Um, this all guy the upstairs. Upsta- from upstairs all you can hear is um this kind of like because it's picked it's dark and so it's like crash bang and kind of like and and all the, these kind of voice being like tell me what you know and it's like please please help me don't hurt me don't hurt me don't hurt my friend upstairs and he's like we'll kill your friend upstairs if you don't want to talk and Boom, yeah. crash, crash, crash. And then, what are and you guys gonna, I... what's gonna happen next? Uh, I... I turn to Mr. Gammy Knee and say, anything you'd like to tell us? And then I oh, use knee in a way that I hopefully know that he'll, in a way to make him realize that I will poke it if he doesn't. Like mild torture, ever so mild. Are you, so you're putting Fine with my basic... alignment. You're right. putting, so basically you're putting your hand on his wound and pressing in. While smiling at him and saying, is there anything you'd like to tell us? Okay, that's creepy. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. That's so <laughs> okay, creepy. that's... Are you law for good? Totally. No, <laughs> I'm neutral good. Totally. Okay. Totally okay, oh, no, I wasn't putting my hand on his... Oh, all right, not putting my hand on his knee. I was just like, anything you'd like to tell us? And then no, I see, look... I, I preferred the first I look at I was just a little bit kind of like, oh my God, I'm related to this person. This is so scary. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, Rowan you... set it up so beautifully. Yeah, would you like to... Um... And he did almost kill me. Uh, persuasion check. Okay. Oh. Uh. It's low. Uh, nine. 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 Um, unfortunately, at this point, he is not looking. He's not looking like overly convinced that you're going to do anything. He looks looks worried and he looks scared because of what he can hear downstairs. But you're not looking overly intimidating to him, so oh, he okay. stays clammed up. Flip my knife out of my out of the my dagger out of its sheath uh-huh. and kind of advance toward him. Okay. Um, Hold the dagger at his throat. Okay. Um, would who would like to um, would you like to try and persuade uh, who would like to, would like to try and persuade again, Freya? Yeah, I say. You hear that going on downstairs? Okay. How do you fancy that? Um, you can do it with advantage because you're being helped. Um, intimidation this time, please, Thank you. and you're being helped you with advantage by um, Ash. So I roll twice. Oh shit! There you goes roll- my dice. I roll twice. <laughs> you roll twice. So that's 10. Uh, ooh, natural 20! Natural 20 plus my uh, what's it, which is a plus four. But like, natural 20. Okay. Hey! The, um, the point of Ash's dagger is just pushed into his throat and a little trickle of blood starts running down his throat. Just enough. Remind me not to of, piss off our druid. <laughs> just a little bit. And there's just like a little trickle of blood coming down. And um, Iona is kind of leaning on his um on his sort of like the thigh just above his knee kind of making him remember that there is a serious wound <laughs> in his thigh around his knee and um i and never piss off the intimidation with a smile <laughs> and at this point he goes okay okay you know i'll i'll tell i'll tell you what you i'll tell you what you need to know i'll tell you what you want to know and well, he, this... he looks up and he goes what do you want to know while this has happened, I've taken, I had them wolf rags that I got from the goblin cave. I've shoved them in the guy's mouth downstairs, covered my fists in blood from his wounds, and come back upstairs. 
Okay, he's um, and he he um, as you've kind of come up and you've kind of closed the door behind you, and you're kind of like, like shaking yourself off, like you've just had a, like a boxing match kind of <laughs> just thing. Just blood all over my neck. Blood all over your <laughs> fists and just looking, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and at this point, I would like you to, I would like you to do an intimidation check as well, please. This guy is just going to be intimidated up. So in other words, that that is, making um, him piss his pants. That is a sixteen. Yeah. Plus whatever oh, your plus, intimidation is. Uh, plus two, so eighteen. Yeah. Um. There's there's <laughs> there's basically you can just hear a sound as as basically something trickles out of his um out of his trousers. He looks um he looks scared to death, and he goes oh. okay. He goes if he goes I'll tell I'll tell you everything. I'll just tell you everything, and you can do with it what you want. Just don't 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 kill me. Don't hurt me. Don't no don't. Don't hurt me. Um, what he tells you is that um, he is aware that the leader of the Red Brands is called Glassstaff, and he is a human wizard, um, so named due to his glass staff. Um, there's also his his boss. Um, you've heard whispers that it's somebody or something called the Black Spider. You've been hearing there's there's kind of rumors um, around the red brands about it, um, and that the the message that's come down is that you are you as the red brands are to intimidate the local population to intimidate the local populace. You don't, but he doesn't know why. He hasn't been told that you know that's above his pay above, above his pay grade. Um, the other thing that he tells you is that it's not just his red, like his fellow red brands. It's not just the human fighters. That there are also um, some bugbears that have been sent to help reinforce the kind of the sort of almost like the barracks up at the manor house. Bugbears. Bugbears. Yeah. Oh dear. Bugbears. Yeah. Enjoy that. Um, Because they'll provide, like, extra muscle. Um, He he tells you that um, there are um, a handful of captives in in an area near the old crypts. Okay. Because you roll... Because of the natural 20, I can tell um, he, um, he... tells you a couple of other things which you would not have normally got to find out so well done you um you know that there are skeletons guarding the crypts and somewhere near the bugbears there's a hideous monster with one big eye It's not a beholder, is it? Beholders I, have tons no, of No, I swear beholders only have... The one big eye, but then they got them on tentacles as well. They've got loads of eyes on tentacles, they've just got one massive mouth. Huh? This has got one massive eye. What if a beholder like an NSFW, against us already? I'm, I'm not can that... Can I try that to mean. check if I can discover what he's talking about by describing that monster? Um, definitely you... Mike Wazowski. Definitely. I mean, he, he, he <laughs> has a, it has a great eye, a big eye, and something else. Yeah, it's got a great eye, a big mouth, and said. So I, I just try to see if I can find out what he's talking about. Yeah, so I mean, you can try to see if you can find out what kind what kind of creature it is. That's fine. Um, do a um, do a history check for me to see yes. if you have. Um, Sorry. Do a history check to see if you have read about something so you can okay. kind of maybe understand from the description what this is talking about. Um, I don't think so. It's a 12 total. A 12. Um, no, you get the feeling that it's probably, it's a, it's an aberration, that it's probably nothing of, maybe nothing of the sort of the natural earth, natural world. You kind of get, you kind of have a vague memory that it's, you know, that this kind of thing is probably, um, it's probably a sort of a lower, a lower dweller, as far as you know. Um, to the red brand, a subterranean dweller. 
but other than that, you don't know. Um, I tell him I. Um, I mean, I literally just had it. <laughs> oh no, um, brain, brain man. <laughs> tell him, describe to me the captives in the crypts. Um. Yep. He. Um. You. You guys have scared. You guys have really scared him. Anyway. So what he um. He looks. He looks up and he looks around and um, and he goes it, it's it, the ones the ones who lived here it's the ones who lived here they have the woodcutter's family were there any dwarves I ask him and he sort of he sort of looks a bit puzzled and shakes his head and goes no, it, no dwarves. We have. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any dwarves in, in around here, at all. Actually, we've. Um, Why do they have the woodcutter's family? A, collateral. Stop yeah, but collateral. he's already dead. The hostages. To scare the other people. I don't know well, why they keep them alive. No, yeah, we can, no we can, we can ask alive. him. We can ask him if he knows why. Why are they? Why they yeah. have they killed captives? Why haven't you yes. killed? Why haven't you, they killed the captives? The woodcutter's family. Okay. I ask. Um, are you? Are you? Persu- are you doing another? Persu- are you trying to persuade? Yeah. I'm just trying to. Do well. Yeah, sure. Um, do an insight check then. Six. <laughs> yeah, he he sort of he he shrugs and he goes, I don't don't know. We were just told to, we were just told to to bring, if we if we manage to we kill the men if they uh they stand against us, bring the women and children. Do you know if they're treated well? He sort of kind of looks at you like, are you an idiot? And he's just like. There's the people that we captured them. They're just not many. No, but are they being fed? What do you you think we're gonna do? Sing them nursery rhymes to help them get to sleep at night. (laughs) Can I slap him in the face? You can slap him. You can slap him in the face. Do (laughs) I'm gonna slap him in the face? That was rude. Um, do a um, do a strength check for me. We'll see how uh, how good your slap is. Thirteen. Yeah, you've um, you've caused a little bit of blood out the corner of his mouth and made his head sort of snap to the side. But he still doesn't. He still he's sort of snarling at you now. He's 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 said quite a lot, and he's like, "Yeah, I think I'm, I... I'm probably gonna die either way here." I was gonna say, can I just squatting down to eye level? Go well. I guess if there's nothing left of value, you might as well join your friend now. And uh, he um. He sort of he takes a breath and he's and he goes Do what you will to me. It's gonna be better than better than glass stuff would do anyway. <laughs> cool. Uh shall we tie him up and put him, put him to in the sleep. cellar for now? Um remember we were gonna take him to um Oh, do you wanna take him to to the to the town hall? Yeah, because they had heard yeah. what was going on outside in the first place anyways, right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it could be good to and see making how, the town master how the confront. town master reacts. Yeah, making him confront yeah. the problem that he's ignoring would show a lot about if he's involved, what he's like as a town master, which we probably already. Okay, shall I carry uh, spaghetti is... legs and you can get the chairman? Problem is, once chairman meets spaghetti legs. The, the the whole um, all the info out of him, beat him up would be We've got all the info out of him. He don't know anything. That's very true. That's very true. Cool. Uh, yeah. Who wants to help me with uh, chair? I will. I'll carry the one with bad knees. Okay. Um, the one with um, the one with the bad knee starts um, starts yelling. Starts going. Where are you taking me? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just off for a stroll. I was going to say, you haven't, because um, you haven't gagged him, so he starts sort of shouting. Okay. Have you got any more wolf pelt? Can I? <laughs> no, I used all my wolf pelt. Uh, I was going to say, can I slap my hand over his mouth and stare him down? Might bite you. 
um, you can um, you can slap your hand over his mouth and stare him down if you'd like. You can do a um, do an intimidation. That's not going to be very good. I've been trying to get rid of them wolf eggs for ages. That's going to be a five. Um, yeah, he 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 he, t- he tears his head away and he starts yelling again. Who's going downstairs? I punch him. <laughs> do a strength I, check. Uh... Do an unarmed do an unarmed strength check for me. I was doing the chair as well. Remember. I think it's for the druid punching. This is for the druid punching. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. Um, what do I add to just, it if it's... Just, uh, just a straight, just, just... straight, straight strength. So it's one of okay, your strength it's, modifiers. Okay, it's a ten. It's a ten. Um, uh, yeah, again, um, he's, he, <laughs> he's had worse. Um, and it's not going to make a massive amount of difference. Who's going downstairs to get the chair? Me. Anyone else? I think you were. Uh, yeah. I'll go with her. Okay. Can we so get your rope for this man's mouth? Uh huh. Thank you. Okay, so um, Aya, um, Iona, Aramil, and Ash are going downstairs. Yep. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Could you all yes. um, could you all do a strength check for me, please? Every one of you. Seventeen. Well, why couldn't I have done that earlier? The fifteen. And what did you get? Me? Mm-hmm. Natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, no I, idea. Quite. You know, it's like... It's, it's I like get one. him to the neck, <laughs> raise him with the chair, you know. I'm going to take his robe off and there's just an ink pack all oiled up. It's like, what, it's like, has anyone ever seen Popeye? When he's yeah. in yeah. and he goes, poo, poo, and it's like his muscles get really big. Like that old muscle guy from Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z. <laughs> so... Um, so because of the sort of the average of all of your strength checks, absolutely no problem. Aramil grabs like grabs the back of the, the chair as well and sort of takes like, you to push and kind of uh, and kind of get him to get him up the stairs without any real issues at all. Oh, he's he's fine by the way, apart from mouldy wolf rags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind of going. Mm, mm, maybe mm. maybe we can like free him from the chair, keeping him tied by but. Uh, uh, not carrying to the town hall or to the town master's house with the chair. Yeah, does not bring the <laughs> Maybe. chair. Maybe. <laughs> 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 the chair to no? the town master's hall across the sort of. Okay, Maybe yeah. on a chair <laughs> for a walk, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, you. Um, let's have a think. Um, would you like to. Are you wanting to sort of. Are you wanting to get some more rope and bind. Um, oh no, he's already bound. So you're uh, wanting to sort of untie him from the chair and retie him up. Mm-hmm. Okay, who would like Can to I do... help? How are you going to help Freya? Because it's going to be it's going to be Ash that's doing this. But how are you going to help her? I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you, I'm not letting you help unless you can tell me how you're going to help. You hold him just, still while I tie his hands. <laughs> I'll help by not getting in the way. That's not. That's you. Can, that's just standing at the side then. Try yeah, I'll, 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 do, I'll do that. I'll. 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 Do you guys have I'll let Ashton on. Hear me? No, sound fine. No, no, sound fine. No, I, I, I said, um, you can help by holding him still while I tie his hands. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. The yeah. problem is Freya's quite loud, and so when she, t- so when she's talking, it's like no, you can't hear anything. <laughs> well, if you if you right click on no, if you. Oh no, I've got it. It's just, uh, yeah. and you're right down, Freya. <laughs> In fact, Sorry. I'm half deaf. Proof that we're made to be together. Um, so yeah, you can take that. <laughs> you can take that advice. Ash turns to you and says, "You ho- you hold on to him whilst I untie him." So Freya, do a strength check, and Ash, um, with advantage, I would like you to do a dex check. I got a uh, sixteen. Mm-hmm. So you managed to hold on to him fine. Out of fourteen. And that was with advantage. Oh wait, advantage. Yeah. Yeah, with advantage. 
Okay, fourteen. Um, <laughs> it takes you a little. It takes, a you, it takes you a little bit of time. He's um, he's a little bit wily, but you do manage to um, to kind of get him. You kind of you fumble a bit with the with the binds as he's pulling against them, but you manage to kind of get him tied up in the end. Um, Freya keeps on like kneeing him in balls or something to kind of make him <laughs> start like. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so what? So go on. What do you want to do now then? Take Drag them, him over the we'll top. Them to, to yeah. them okay, so you Drag him through the dirt. Okay, so you drag um you drag him forward and the um as you go you go past you see people um you see people looking out of the miners exchange. Um you see the um the ma- the the sort of main woman from the um from the miners exchange who was called Um Palia. Palia. Um, of course kind of, you remember. Oh, you remember yeah, well, remember right, Roland? Yeah, um, looking <laughs> looking at the window and kind of, and you can see as you turn to her, she sort of nods and looks approving because she knows that you're doing what you need, what she's asked you to do. So you drag um, these two to the town master. By chance. Pardon? By, by accident. By accident. Doing what she asked. Absolutely. Totally by accident, but she doesn't have to know that. Um, <clears throat> drag them to the town masters. Um, and you drag here, um, drag them inside. Um, the town, the, the town. You sort of, and you drag them in to the um, to the main hall. The only person who's in there at the moment is the town master, um, and he um, Harbin, and he looks at them, and he goes, "What on earth is this? What have you done?" They attacked us outside of Town Hall as soon as we left. And so we thought we'd bring them to, you know, the person who makes the laws. It's... There you go! Have you have you defeated all of them? Are these the last? Yep. Completely? No. no, no. They're just, no. just the top. Oh, no. yeah, they're just the ones that attacked us outside the Town Hall. Sorry. Well, that's... I'm, I'm, that's good because they they won't hurt they won't hurt anybody else but what if the others retaliate what if they they attack the people of the town they could they could burn their buildings down what have you done we already plan on taking care of them all we did was defend ourselves when they attacked our weakened people what do you want me to do can can I make an insight check to see if he's genuinely concerned about the people, yep. or if he's got other? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, that's a nine. <laughs> yeah. What's your insight? Seems on the level. That, that's Plus a nine. One. Oh, okay. Seems yeah. He you can't tell. Um, you can't tell either way. Um, he seems. He seems, seems on the he level. Seems, he seems on the level. He seems fairly genuine. <laughs> so, um, I say. Well, isn't it your job to protect the people of the town, not some passing adventurer? He goes, you have only just come into our town. We have been dealing with the fallout of these people for weeks. We have had our we, people, there's, people have been murdered. People have been captured. People yes, but what has been, been done? People have been intimidated. Do you understand that you can't just jump in and fight people when there's going to where you don't know who might retaliate so I our choice to, was to or protect, die to protect the town and so our choice was his last name die. again wester it's carbon wester hmm? wester wester w-e-s-t-e-r excuse me mr wester he looks like we him. did nothing except for defend ourselves when we were attacked right in the middle of your town in broad daylight. What would you we like? brought them to you because you are the law in this town and you could bring them to justice or do whatever you please with them. It is not our choice what happens to them. Uh, do a persuasion check, please. With advantage, because that was a good little speech. She's so wise. I'd like to step down as bad. <laughs> that is my, that is my main one, is wisdom. That is my plus three. I've got plus zero. Okay, I rolled a 16 both times, and it was a perception? or uh, Wisdom. Uh, persuasion. 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 Oh. So it's a 17. Excellent. Um, he, he looks at you, and he nods, and he goes, We can... I will put them 
I will lock that. I will lock them up for now. Um, we will we will keep it. We will try to keep it quiet. We will keep them away so the others don't find out. And then we will we will know in a few days what we can do. But please, do not cause trouble for the people of this town. We've seen enough trouble. I tell him. Well, so in a few days we were hoping. Sorry the truth about those guys. Don't know if we can trust him. Okay. Are we doing? Did you, I did Aramil say insight check? Yeah, to see if he's telling the truth yeah. about locking them down. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah Do something yeah. next days. Yep. Yeah, so you want to do an insight? You're doing an insight to find out whether he's truthful about locking them up. Yep. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Let me. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm, no, nah, uh, I don't really know anything. He's not <laughs> it level. wasn't you. No, no, no. It was five. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just, I'm, I'm just like, uh, did he say anything? You're just going to have to. You're just kind of going oh. to have to trust him, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. He seems way above the level. He does absolutely. <laughs> so, he, you, um, he calls. He calls some. He he shouts, um, and a couple of um, kind of townspeople who are dressed um, in kind of what you would imagine were passed for some sort of like official town guard. Like guard, they don't look massively um, kind of well well kitted out. It's obviously sort of whatever they found, whatever they found lying around. Um, and he says, "Take, take them down. Take them, take them down to the prisons and and lock them up." I say, "Isn't there still one of them dead outside?" Who? Two of them. Oh yeah, there's uh, two dead guys just outside. Yeah, did, town we hall. did we spot so... them on the way in, or did they tidy them up? No, you've spot you've spotted them. They're still there. Okay. So, yeah, blood still like staining the like the dirt. <laughs> um, if you, so you tell you tell him that and he looks really he looks a bit sort of he looks he looks a bit shocked and he goes you kill you kill two of them in broad daylight outside outside and he sh and he shouts and he goes and he basically he shouts for more guards and he tells them to dra go and go and get drag the corpses inside um and put, I say and put them in another cell I say, well, we would have chosen under cover of darkness, but, you know, didn't really have that choice. We yeah, were... they were not willing to wait till yeah, this... they, they, they <laughs> to get it all over night. Me, really. <laughs> we're, we're aware the beehive has been kicked. However, we didn't have a choice. It was them or us. It's now a choice of if we take action to prevent them doing more harm to the village, or if we lie down and let them harm your people. And he he not he sort of he he nods at you and he goes well what do you what we do you want expect from me we want to help but any any health potions equipment or anything you can provide will help us or even any information, information yeah. if you manage to gather any um he looks at you um can you um <clears throat> You've you've kind of done enough to pretty much convince him that you're that you're sort of On that you're level. straight and that he'll you know he can he can trust you. Um, what he does say he's he um, he says all he all he knows is that the red brands have been coming um, from the manor house up on the hill. Um, he doesn't know any more than that, but there seems to be a sort of. Um, a good sort of flow of them but you don't know where they actually are coming from because the manor house is derelict but yeah. that's all um sort of all he knows um, how many like different ones or like could you more or less you know uh, tell us how many usually go in the town no, he says he says usually there's um, there's about, there's maybe about four, three or four of them staying at the um, staying they stay at the inn, sort of different different ones each time, like they're on sort of like they take shifts basically. I'm, get, I'm getting the sense Wester barely leaves the hall. Yeah, <laughs> he's, pretty, pretty he's not aware of dead bodies <laughs> on his doorstep. Um, pretty much. 
um he said um he says um and at this point silda um who has been sort of staying around walks in um and sees um sees you sees you guys looking a little bit sort of scuffled and everything and and sort of asks what's what's happened and you relay all this to Silzo as well the law master's looking a bit huffy basically and um and he and Silda sort of look Silda looks at you and goes and looks at the the town master and he goes our aims could align here um it my the person i'm looking for my my friend ayano went up to the manor house um and he he's never a couple of months ago and and we haven't heard from him since um and he points to you guys and says the um my friends here were going to had said that they were going to help me and that they were going to to look for him um if the red brands are coming from there maybe they've done something with with my friend um, <coughs> maybe we could um we could make it worth their while to 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 help they can help me it's... and they can help the town um i mention the woodcutter's family are being held hostage they're alive to silda what what no no it's fine <laughs> um and silda and silda nods and he goes he goes that is that is good news it makes it makes me hope for my friend that maybe he's he's alive too um he looks um and he looks at the lawmaster and he goes well harbin i think that it is worth um worth some gold to these adventurers to um to go and uh sort this little problem out for you it will be good for the town it'll be good for them i can help I can put some some gold in the in the purse to go to them, and he leans um, he leans forward and he starts sort of whispering in in the ear of um, of Harbin, and Harbin looks a little bit sort of kind of taken aback, and you kind of see them kind of arguing backwards and forwards, and Zilda turns to you and he goes, "We can we can offer you gold." Um, half now, half when the job is done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It says, um, he says, if you do uh, what we have asked and you, d and you get rid of the red brands and you protect this town and you bring me news of my friend, Ayano, we, between us, can probably find you around 200 gold pieces um i we could give you a hundred now it would help greatly and he he nods and he goes i thought as much and he um he says uh he says i will uh, i will go to um i'll be i'll go to the inn um and i'll be back uh momentarily i'll meet you outside and he sort of wanders off Okay, so maybe we should go also to the inn, so we yeah. should rest before before taking action. Let's not discuss our plan in front of the mayor, just saying. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. quickly leave the I game. do not trust this man at all. No, nope, me neither. I'm pretty sure we've <laughs> said enough in front of him, so I'm just going to leave. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you guys, yep. um, you <laughs> I also leave. <laughs> you guys um, wander out and um, and go and um, and go back to the inn, basically following in um, in Silda's steps. It is um, uh, around. It's probably around sort of six o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, it's certainly kind of twilight. Sort of twilight. It's coming up for sort of twilight. Um, if you just bear with me one moment, I'm just taking my headphones off, um, and I'll be just like. Two, two sets. My hair's oh. hurting. How... Do you think we could maybe ask uh, Silda about the monsters that they described? Since yeah, he's he... been an adventurer longer? Yeah, mm -hmm. you might know. Uh, what state are we all in? I could do with a short rest to get my action served back before rest. we go in. Yeah, 
I I could as okay. well. I'm I'm uh, not well, doing I, great. I am very aware that because I do not trust the town master at all. I'd like to go tonight, but I definitely even though short rest. I think we should do a short rest. Do a bit of um, recon around the manor. Espionage. Look what's going on. Um, how big is it? How many people do we think are roughly there? Um, and if we think we could do it, do it tonight. If not, we come back the next night with maybe some more weapons or mm. something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm we'll just aware. I, they... I don't have any spell prepared. So don't have any spells? No, I only no have prepared. One. I, I can only use cantrips right now. Do you? Will you get them so, back in a short rest, or do you need a long rest? I need a long rest. Okay, right. so we definitely um, uh, need to I do think, it. I think it's a long rest, right, please? Yeah. Yeah. But right. if we if we do a long rest, then it's daytime, and we, I'd rather mm. not well, attack actually, in the daytime. Uh, don't I have a thing where well, I yeah. can... I, I don't think, because, like, we... Crans. I don't know if it's if it works like that for longer uh, short rest, but mm. like four hours uh, for me would be like eight hours per human. Yeah. I'm just I don't know if if that could make that uh, yeah. four so hour could, rest you could, you could, could be like a long rest for me. Yes, it could be. And oh, okay. um, and Freya's also got um, got something where I think she can. Yes, I can. During a short rest, friendly creatures who hear your performance regain additional hit points when they spend hit dice based on your level. So I'm second level. So uh, everyone, if I played Song of Rest, would regain one d six hit points. Mm. Yeah, you could. Spec- Which is nice. So yeah. So you. You I don't think like I lost maybe any. We could. I'm sound for health. I am not. <laughs> yes, for four hours, and then yeah, yeah. let's head maybe back to the tavern, to... get our gold. Maybe talk a little bit to Silda, ask if he's in the monster. Take a short rest, get up, go to the manor, do look around, um, and then attack. Uh, I don't know. We we, we definitely up. already have time well, and at the moment. We we could maybe Just check in. Case. in. The other in where they gather. Yep, we could, but I don't see what the point in going there would be. We would just find a bunch of them and have to kill them. Yeah, they yeah. Stay. Cut, cut the head off first. The sleeping giants is where they've been staying, but your um your all of your um your sort of bed and board and Zilda mm. um are staying at the Stonehill Inn. Yeah, we, we need to go for the head as quick as possible, but I'm very aware we need a short rest to get our hench mage back up. A few <laughs> charges. <laughs> right. Well, to the pub. Hench mage. <laughs> so you um you head back to head back to the pub then. Let's go to Stonehill and wait for this all to blow over. Yep. Um <laughs> you um you go up you I mean we we we'll just basically we'll kind of like we'll do a montage. say we'll do a kind of like montage thing because we haven't got four hours. So um you go in, there's a couple of people sort of sat around at the end of the work day having a drink. Um Tobin sort of um kind of greets you. You go upstairs, um, you knock on Silda's door, you speak to Silda, Silda knows nothing more than what you have been told. Um, he hasn't been here before, um, he just knows that, he knows exactly the same as you, but he does give you a um, hundred gold um, and says hopefully this um, this will... Um... And we'll put that between everyone or do we want to keep it in a, in a joint account? I don't see what the point of a joint account No, I be. don't. We'll spread it. <laughs> what are we gonna buy that benefits all of us? No offense. Well, in the nicest way, Carla, I was working towards gymnastic lessons for us. <laughs> but you know what? Well, even Forget then, it. if we have something like that, we can all pitch in instead of yeah, exactly. Paying individually, exactly. So what's a hundred divided by yeah. five? Twenty each. Twenty. Twenty gold each. So if you all note down that you've all got twenty gold. 
Um, and you head back to your um, head back to your rooms, and you have a short rest during that time. So, um, should I do Dover my didn't know anything song about of rest? You can all, you I can need... all head in to into do the one song room. Of rest, you'd all have to head into one room. Yeah, can we do that? Um, anyone who needs hit points, yeah. uh, it's really a, I need a hit case points, of yeah. anyone who needs hit points. Um, some hit points back could go into one don't room. We, don't Sleep we over. A short rest anyway. Don't we roll to whatever our hit dice mm. are? Um, I thought yeah. that, I thought that that was long rest. I thought long rest. You just oh, you just got it back. No, back no, no, you're before. right. So you, the thing is, it gives you an it gives you an extra. So obviously, if um you need more than just those two hit dice you could get extra back from freya oh an extra okay one. sure why not so sleep um, over okay so very quickly you um you those of you who are feel who need some hit points go into um the room who is all who needs to roll hit dice who wants to try and up themselves everyone's okay apart from iona and kala yeah, I'm intact. Okay, so, um, Kala, Iona, you can roll. Um, the way to do it, I would say, is um, Freya, for your song, roll 1d6. Is it 1d6? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so roll 1d6 until, and then. Five. Okay, so Kala, you automatically you get five hit points back. Um, Iona, you get five hit points back. Um, now you have to decide how many hit dice you'd like to spend out of your hit dice. I'll use just the one then. because obviously then you've got another in case you have another short rest before you have a long rest. So because if, if you use them both now, you won't <sighs> get any hit dice back until you next do a long rest. I didn't know that's how it worked. Okay. So if you can use one of them, and then when you ha next have a short rest, you can use the second. But if you use them both now, you, you, they only come back after a long rest, so you can kind of decide how you want to use them best. Okay. Was my hit die always 1d8 minus 1? Because that's what it says on D&D Beyond. Why would it want be 1d8 minus 1? No, don't, don't forget yours, your character sheet's a bit messed up. Okay. Yeah, you should, and actually, you shouldn't have a one d eight. You should have a one. You should have two d. Your, your, um, because as a bard, you should only have a d six, and you should have two. Okay. And you should ha so you have up to you have two d. You have you can spend up to two d six as hit dice. So Freya. I'll just spend one. Okay, so Oh. Okay, so um, can I just very quickly um, write down, Kala, how many hit points are you on? 19. Um, Iona? Um, full, 15. Um, Aram, Aramil? 12. Uh, Ash? 27. And Rowan? Uh, I'm at max of 22. That's great. Okay. How many spell slots do I get back? You don't get any spell slots back on a short rest. Okay. No, no, so you need to That's... untick that again. No, no, I, I spent... You can ha you've, got okay. all, you've still got all of your cantrips, but um, okay. it's only it's only long rest, or if you've got any kind of um, special, like, wizard skill, like our oh. Aramil has, where he can meditate, which means that he can get something back. So you okay. have... Um, let's have a quick shifty at this information because obviously we're all we're kind of st we're still learning yeah. um, i've spent two of my three <laughs> oh dear well you're going to be mostly using cantrips then oh yes um, um arcane, just... arcane oh, yeah. recovery after a short rest once per day you can regain um one spell slot yeah i haven't used any so all right well that's okay then i i, I didn't <laughs> have any prepared spells so okay. i i needed to needed go to, on you need to to have your you need yeah. to prepare your spells so you've prepared your spells um the druid you all basically i'm just gonna say you've all prepared what you've all prepared your spells it's all fine okay so what are you gonna do so what just, time is it, it just, is, uh, you've had four hours sleep, so two questions okay. please it's probably about 11 o'clock at night 
two questions. Okay. Okay, so with trance, I would be able to prepare the spells, right? Okay, yes. Uh, do I have to, like, I just have them ready? You need to know which spells I don't need to, I don't need to know. I, I'm just going to, okay. I'm just going to, um, I know which spells you okay. have decided that you can choose from. So I'm going to just assume that you have, okay. that I'm just going to assume that you've, I'll, I'll let you deal with that. Okay, and um, I see there's something in the School of Divination called Portent. So it says, staging, starting at second level, when you choose this school, glimpses of the future begin to press in your awareness. When you finish a long rest, roll 2d20s and record the numbers rolled. You can replace any attack, saving, or ability roll check made by you or a creature that you can see with one of these four telling rolls. You must choose to do so before the roll, and you can replace a roll in this way only once per turn. So, being this a long rest, but a uh, short rest, but with the trans thing, yeah. should I, or could I do this roll, or apply this straight, or not? Right, okay, so... What do you think? So hold on. So let me just get this right cuz I just need to, I'm sorry everyone. I just need to kind of get my head yeah. around this as well cuz obviously this is all like this is all new stuff. No, take as long yeah. as you need. Um oh, so and it, you guys need to know it as well. So how many times can if you you can only do it once a day but how many dice can you replace? Two. So like oh so I I rolled two d20s. Now. Um uh, before the actual roll, I can decide to like to replace that that roll. Okay, whether it's my roll or a creature I can see. So maybe it can be like a um, saving throw from. Um, but you would have I to. Guess, but, you would have to a... but you would have to. Do, but you mm -hmm. have to do it before because it's predicted. I have to do it before the roll. But it, so it could be worse. So it could be worse. Okay, and that's yeah. and that's just one time, but two dice, or is it two separate times, one dice? Uh, roll two d twenties. So I guess uh, it's record. I I I guess it's two different. Like yeah. uh, so, I can get, for example, a ten and a, an eighteen. So there's, I will replace one with ten and one with eighteen. Okay, we will. No. We uh, yes, that will be fine. We will. Um, we will figure okay. that out. We will. I will read some more into it. We'll figure that out when we come to it. But yeah. Okay. Okay. So what? Do you, it's about. It's now about half eleven. So what are you gonna do? Oh, we should move on, I guess. Turning to the sneakiest of our party, the badass ranger that is Kala. Um, you wanted to go check out the local area, the manor, didn't you? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello? Hello? Can you hear We that? can hear you. Yeah, that, that buzz. Is, is, your, that you, uh, is your audio cable fully plugged in? My laptop's run out of charge, so I've had to put the that'll be it. Yeah, what's it in so That's it won't fine. work as That's well. Right. My, my old Mac used to be like live when you plugged it in. That's fine. <laughs> it's great. You <laughs> just have to deal with it. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys are going to head up to the you're going to head up to the manor house, yes? Yep. Okay. Yep. So um, you head down the stairs and you head out of the. Um, uh, you head out of the inn um, and through the uh, through the main village. There's nobody really around at this time of night. You think it looks like sort of there are there are candle. There's sort of flickering lights from some of the sort of the buildings nearby. You kind of get you know people are sort of are in for the evening. Um, you you make your way past and you make your and you start to make your way up the hill. Did you? How are you going to? How are you going to move? What are you going to do? I, I think we should try to be Kala. yeah we should try to be stealthy yeah and we probably could take advantage of dark vision both Kala and me 
And I have that I mission think, too. I think. I mean, yeah. 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 Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Only the humans are the ones with none. Yeah, it's only the humans, unfortunately. So. Um, like it's it's all dark, or there is any light from? Yep. Um, dim light, or there's no there's it's no there's completely no, light. There's no, it's absolutely pitch black. There's no um, the stars are all covered. The, there's I don't know whether it's um, it's a new moon, but there's no real light. Um, um, you can sort of see the vague outline of a large building up the hill but there's not really very much there's not really very much to see there's no light coming from within the ruins either um are you did you say you're moving stealthily yeah then if you could all do a stealth check for me rowan you need to do it with disadvantage as you said it <laughs> Nineteen plus five, so lots. <clears throat> Twenty-four. I wish it would have been the one that was on the floor, but that's okay. <laughs> um, six. So I got a four. Um, sounding like a production of Stomp, I also got a four. <laughs> I rolled a nineteen, so twenty-five. Yeah, Abigail. You must have tripped over a log or something. Yeah, I uh, twelve. Quite. It's all for me. But 16. Okay. Um, you're all kind of... You're, you're, you're kind of crocodiling it, and you're all sort of hold, you're holding on to each other and trying to kind of make your way up this up this slope. It's a really, really um, kind of rocky, rubbly, rutted path. I mean, it's, it's not... It's in massive disarray. You get the feeling that it was maybe it was had been cobbled at one point, but obviously it's been long deserted. Um, unfort so that means that um, Kala, uh, sorry, um, that Ash sort of um, trips, and um, because it, it's the two humans are in the middle of the park, you've got like the uh, elves on either, on on each side so they can actually see. But Kala trips over over something and hits Rowan, hit like bumps into bumps into Rowan, and so Rowan then stumbles, in which makes all of his armor make kind of, kind of clanky noises, like a big old maraca. Yeah, basically, <laughs> um, you all stop dead. And you listen. What do I hear? Any yeah. sounds? Yeah, I, I try to hear um, something, anything. I would like anything? Um, one of you to do a perception check. Okay. Mm. Is Aramil going to do it? It's 14. Let me check. Perception. Uh, yeah. 14. Okay. Um, you all stand. As quietly as you can. Kind of hear the kind of slight kind of shifting of the rubble that obviously obviously dislodged when um, Ash stumbled and tripped. You wait, and you just hear the kind of like the the wind. There's like the wind rustling through whatever sort of trees are up on the um, up on the hillside in front of you, but there's no other sounds. There's no sounds of. Um, of any, there's no footsteps, nothing that sounds untoward. I go, you don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> that I go. What? I'm saying we should go around the side. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, we should probably guard. tell the Humies. You worked in a bar. <laughs> I don't know what I would say. I could have been insulting a family for all I know. I don't know what the... <laughs> are you okay, are you okay yeah. Shadow? <clears throat> are, are you okay? I just, like... Yeah, not too not too snuffly. Okay, so um, you've done some kind of, like, kind of, like... Sounds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you've done some crap. You've done. You've done some. And like the humans are like. Anyway. I just hear clapping, <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> you get. Um. You get. You sort of find yourself sort of like linked by linked by people and kind of pushed in the right direction, and you make your way. Um. You make your way up the hill, and you find yourself stood in front of 
the um the the sort of dis deserted decrepit um manor house it's quite large <laughs> um from you know it's probably maybe like 150 to 200 feet like down it's probably like 100 150 feet across i mean it's a fairly substantial um building it had obviously it was obviously once quite a um quite a well-to-do place you kind of get the feeling um from what you have um what you've the, the what you've got from the town the, from the people in sound Fandlinen used to actually be quite a um quite a rich area when there was um when there was the mines and everything hello this is going to be super helpful hi I'm the monster! It's coming! She's got to, oh my god, no! It's a giant fairy creature! No. Um, okay, so. Um, I'm just going to see. So basically, the, yeah. Um, it, was, um, it was once called um, Trisanda Manor. Um, you know this because um, though one of you with dark vision has noticed that there is a sign. Um, like a kind of that says Trisanda Manor. Um in front you think like kind of on a like a, on a column that used to maybe have a gate it used to be maybe gated. Um and it the um the roof has cut the roof has collapsed the roof has collapsed in, there's just holes in the walls, it's like yeah like nesting birds up in the top. It's not a meta pigeon, it's an actual bird. <laughs> And you, um, you, and yeah, that's that's pretty much um, what you can sort of see from see from the outside. It looks cold and dark and creepy as fuck. Can I approach? You can indeed. Um, would you like to approach stealthily? You betcha. Okay, then you, um, well, stealth check for me then, please. No, she gets out her tuba. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Freya. <laughs> Naturally. Okay. 15? 15. Um, okay, so you, um, you, everyone else sort of stays where they are and you sort of creep, creep towards it. Um, you quite you sort of you look up at it and you sort of you kind of like kind of walk around the outside and take a look in you kind of get the feeling that this was almost more of a ca almost like like a castle at one point i mean it it looks like it probably had a couple of stories there's just an awful lot of rubble on the inside things have sort of there's been a lot of things that have sort of collapsed you know the floors have collapsed and so on um but you can still see that um that this the floor is still has still got the flagstones and so on on um you, with your passive perception being as high as it is yeah, you notice that um some of the um the rubble has actually been shifted around um can I sorry, can I try and look through a window or something? Um, there are no <sighs> windows well, there are some windows, but mostly the thing there's not really much point because actually there's a lot of like the walls are completely like destroyed in. So you can just see in. Just DIY windows. Well, can I see in then? Please? Yes, you can see in. Um so um What I um, would like you to do then is to do a perception check. Twenty. Okay. Um, where you noticed that um, some of this rubble looks like it's been moved um, because of your sort of passive persuade, uh, passive perception, um, and because of your dark vision as well, you notice that one of the stone flags looks like it's got something attached to it and something that looks possibly metal something metal attached to it like a pole 
looks um, like a trap door. More cir- more circular. Like a handle. Okay. Um, there's nothing else I can do. It's just rubble. Okay. Um, and how far am I away from the rest of the group? Um, you're probably about 40 feet away from the rest of the group. You've kind of left them sort of standing kind of far away and you've kind of snuck up, so... Um, I'll wave them over. Okay. Rowan's just there, like, can't see anything. I say, Rowan, that way. Okay, so I'll do a, um, I'll do a stealth check again for me, please. Don't know which way Uh, that way is. I lead him. (laughs) Disadvantage, please, Rowan. Natural 20. Nice. With whatever the fuck my thing is. What? With some numbers added to- it's a natural 20, I can do what I want. Yeah, that's true. What else did you get? <laughs> Two. Right, well it's a good thing- that... I was already dragging him! I was gonna say, it's a damn good thing that, um, that Iona had said, I'm leading him, <laughs> and then rolled a natural 20. You got five. Five. Um, uh, Aramil? Sorry? My second natural 20 today. Uh, Wait, it because, a, um... It was a uh, oh, okay, no. Um... Yeah, I was. Well, yeah, sorry. So... You, it was. You need to do a stealth check. Oh, okay. Thank you. Going to the manor. So we we have started moving. You have. <laughs> yeah, You've must... been beckoned. You have been beckoned over by Kala. Okay, it's eighteen plus two, twenty. Okay. Um. You obviously. Um. Ash is for some. Ash is not feeling very well. Um, she she's sort of I don't know. I've she been hasn't awake had, for she too hasn't, long. She hasn't had enough. She hasn't had enough sleep. She's you know she's been on she's been on the go for a while. She's Cal is too much. <laughs> the, yeah, sorry, Cal. It was the it's the the sleep of the um because you were so drunk. You drunk. Kept, you did dis- you disturbed her quite a bit the other night. So oh, poor, I got over so, my drunkness. Oh no, but the other night, like the night before. When you when you slept, so I think um, so. Ash is just feeling. Ash is starting to kind of feel the um, feel the need for a proper a proper sleep. So she's not maybe quite as with it as she was, which means that she's sort of stumbling a little bit and sort of kicking up a little bit of the sort of the stone as she goes. But um, <sighs> generally speaking, you've kind of you all make it in. You all make it in, in vaguely one piece. And so you're now at where Kala is. I um, point to Iona and I show her the the handle that's on the ground. Do I identify that it's a handle? Is it definitely a handle? Because he said it was just like a piece of metal. From... Do I know what a handle looks like? You all know what you you know what a, a, a metal handle would look like. Are is you, it a metal are you, handle? Are you staying on the outside of the house or are you going closer? Is there oh, an entrance? that's a good point. Yeah, we go. Yeah, I, I hop the wall. I guess I go in. It's a very low. It's very low. You can all you could all make it over the wall quite easily. I won't make you I do. do ath- that. I won't, won't make you do athletics checks. Don't worry. Ash is writing in his book that I don't know what a handle looks like. <laughs> that's good to know. Um, <laughs> well, well, you said that it was metal and like circular. It could be anything. It could be like a coin someone glued to the floor for pranks. You I, don't, close, I don't know. You get closer and um, you. you really don't need to do any kind of check. It's a handle. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so, just proud of you. I. <laughs> open I, I pull it i pull the handle okay um oh, is that dear. a good idea <laughs> we can't check for traps um, we don't have a rogue um i would like you so you need to do a strength check for me then please oh, no. ash your push to talk is off five five <laughs> Um, Kala reaches, Kala reaches down, she grabs hold of the, uh, the handle and she goes Is someone defecating? <laughs> could I, I could can't I ask see anything. What the hell are you doing? Very quietly. I go Maybe. to the 
I move Rowan to the handle, I put his hand on the handle, and I tell him to pull. <laughs> it feels like some weird circular metal device. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> I'll pull. Okay. Strength check for me then, please. It says that it was one of those push trap doors. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, that is... Oh, I got a five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just there going. <laughs> Could someone tell me what is going on, please? <laughs> there's there's, there's a, a metal, metal handle. We're trying to pull it. Um, um is it whilst the best this, idea whilst to be this doing is, that? Whilst this Probably is going not. on, um, Ash drops. Um, Ash drops down um, to the ground and starts to kind of feel around the edge of the flagstone. If you could do a perception check for me, please. Oh no, do an investigation check. Sorry. Investigation. Yeah. You sure it can't be perception? No. <laughs> Fifteen. Um. There. Um. Ash, you notice that um, there is just a little gap between the flagstone that you're trying to pull and the flagstones next to them. There's just a little, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a gap. It's not- Did anyone have a crowbar? I did. <laughs> did or do? Did yeah, I, I do. investigate all the way around it? You've, um, you've investigated all around it and you've kind of broken okay. and, and it's, um, it's obviously there's been no, there's no, um, uh, there's been there's no dirt, no sap, there's just no no dust, no anything around. It's um it for you it feels like it's been moved quite recently. So what's happened to your crowbar, Kala? I have taken it out of my backpack and I uh, I um... will hand it to Rowan. Okay. But he can't see it, can he? Oh, can I say I can in, try? Guide me in ghost can I style. From interject behind? first. Somehow I have a plus two strength modifier. You can. <laughs> I don't know how. You can inject. You can. You can say something. Is it the best idea to be prying around things when we're pretty sure that there is, especially when it's a hole in the ground, which how means probably gonna, a basement or a crypt. How else are we gonna get to the glass staff? There's nothing else here. It's just rubble. This is the only. They Entrance might be somewhere else, and they just come through the manor to get to the But this trapdoor looks like it's being used quite often. This must be the main thoroughfare. Remember how they said there were skeletons guarding the crypt? They said the crypt. This isn't the crypt. This is the manor. Mm hmm well, I'm pretty sure the crypt sure. is okay. under the manor. You know, like crypts yeah. are usually <laughs> yeah below be below inside. buildings. We can defeat a skeleton, right? <laughs> he Have said we? multiple skeletons, didn't he? I mean, yeah. it, 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 it will be my first time with a skeleton, so I can't so really not. tell. I'm sure they'll be gentle. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, what, what to... would you decide that we do other than this, then, Ash? What would you have? A... Maybe we could check the rest of the... Of the ground floor, we know. We know. I did. If there's any the other paths, you you check all the yeah all the manual. Do we hear anything coming from? I, I put my okay. ear to the trap door and see if I can hear anything coming from underneath. Any sound? Uh, okay, do a perception check. Thirteen. Don't hear anything. It's definitely a trap door. I'm starting to work that out, yeah. Unless you want to go to the giant sleeping in place, you could, we could go there instead if you want, or... I don't know. I don't Just think say, guys, the anywhere. longer we spend here, the more likely someone will hear us. I mean, uh, The I... DM is smiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I we were the, the winning. <laughs> we were the winning DM. <laughs> I'm just listening. I say, where have I heard I'm that? gonna right. Screw it. I'm taking the crowbar back and I'm gonna open. <laughs> I'm gonna open the trapdoor. 
She's going for Can I help her? Oh, bloody hell. How? Um, you don't need to. I don't. You're just going to get in the way if you try and help. You're going to end up giving her disadvantage. This is the bard's lot. Small sister syndrome. I'm helping. I'm helping. She's not helping. Um, Kella just, Kella just go, just goes, fuck, just, and puts the crowbar in, and um, and you and sort of cantilevers into one of the gaps and cantilevers down on it. Strength check for me, please. Natural twenty. Oh yeah. yeah. That is a ranger that's had enough of cock. <laughs> Frustrated. <laughs> she does, she okay. pushes this down, and as she does it, she um, she finds some sort of just random strength from somewhere. She pushes down. She um, the the stone trap door um, lifts up. She beckons over to Rowan um, to grab hold of the um, the crowbar. No, the, the door. The door. Thing. The door and handle. The, the yeah. metal thing. And to and to <laughs> and to pull it. You find that actually it's almost sort of on a sort of on a weirdly, it's almost hinged. Don't know sort of exactly how it works, but it just kind of opens straight up and then it just sort of sits like that. And um you look looking into the hole again, um, because Cal's got quite a high passive perception. Um you see some stairs leading down. Some sort of look like just stone stairs leading down. Can I light one of the torches that I have? Yep. I will do that. One of the torches is lit and you're holding onto it. I think we should go down. Bad feeling about this. Who wants to go into the tunnel with the scary tomb first? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I do, I do. Okay, so tell me your marching order then, please. Yes, I'm going first. <laughs> I, I was going to um, say, I'm happy to go in the front if need be. Go on then, if you want. Okay. I'll go second or third, I don't care which. I'll then go when third. I, when oh. I inevitably fall down the stairs, I won't take you all with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go behind them. Okay, so Kala first, okay. then, then Rowan, then Ash. Mm -hmm. Um, Iona and Aramil, who wants to be at the back? I'll be at the back. Okay, so Aramil after squishy. Aramil after Ash, and then Iona at the back. Okay. So you walk down the steps. Um, your feet kind of making a sort of Right, who wore stilettos today, guys? Come on, own up. Rowan. The extra, two, <laughs> the extra two inches give me infinite confidence boosts. Actually, the sound of a frog. Amphibious <laughs> <laughs> um, Maximus, you return. <laughs> <laughs> and so you end up walking down the steps, and you end up here, Ooh. and this is what you can see. Interesting. Oh. There is a door in front of you, and that door is open, and you can see a small amount of area in front of you. Um, it looks, it's um, a sort of stone, um, stone flag, um, oh, basically it looks like it was probably a cellar. So the door is open, your it's a sort of five foot wide sort of landing almost and then it kind of goes up about sort of 15 feet into the sort of stone sort of cellar there are steps on either side um, you notice that there is um a kind of rubble there's a rubble strewn um opening heading up to the north Is it well lit inside, Lise? Or are we just seeing from Keller's torch? You're just seeing from Keller's torch into your dark vision. Okay. Do we hear any sound? Can you do a perception check for me then, please? 16. You can hear the sound of um, gently lapping water. Okay. Mm. Guys, I can hear gently lapping water. <laughs> well... 
player knowledge, character knowledge. <laughs> Let's stealth in, maybe. Oh, yes. Okay. That's I, a good idea. I will be one with the shadows. Okay. I would try to see if I can see anything else with the dark vision, maybe. Okay. It's... So, are you going to walk inside the... Because at the moment you're behind a wall. Oh, I would <laughs> maybe... So the let me just think like uh, this is the that's the the open doorway the open door right mm -hmm. well I would no I, I wouldn't cross it that I would just um, you can move your move your cap you can move your feet. Well, yeah um, but you're near the back Arabel I would stay like. Please, Rowan, <laughs> could you move a little? So, uh, just so I can see, like, I peeking through the door, you know, maybe okay. not placing myself right in front of the door, but okay. checking if I can so, see anything. Um, Kala, are you, um, what are you doing with the torch? Um, I am. Um, Are you coming into the room so you can, um, so everyone can see, or? Yeah, okay, yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. You can push past the guys and you can just move, you move yourself in. <clears throat> can you? Do I see? I can't see my character. He's, she's, your it's character's right on the edge. Top right of the image. No, it's behind. No, it's not behind it's okay. Oh, yeah, you're, you're just on. Okay, yeah. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So. Do we see any further into the room? You do now. So this is what you can see. I think I found the source of the gently lapping water, I say. Um. Okay, so um, in front of you, you can see, so you've got um, various sort of stairs leading to sort of platforms. You've got um, a curve off to the north, um, well, the east side of the room to you. But you sort of know it is north. But to the east side of the room, to you, you can see um, a sort of an opening in the wall. Lots of um, lots of rubble going into an what's another another area. Um, in front of you, you can see what um, looks like a sort of a cistern, really that just ha that has um, that has water in it, and barrels line the uh, the outside of the room. The uh, the sort of the walls. Hmm. Move forward, shall we? Yeah. yeah. I see what Do I can see over the rubble up here. Okay. <clears throat> and so, Iona, looking through, can see more stone flags. And this I'll look over my over side here. as well. Okay. Color, as you're looking around, you can just see walls. I'll, if I can see, make my way, try and make my way down to the system. <laughs> when we do the circle thing, I feel like, you know, the little echo thing in Echo the Dolphin. Oh like, my god. Oh, <laughs> like echo locating me and the elf. We're... That game. <laughs> We were using sonar. <laughs> yes, we're using Didn't sonar. You... <laughs> and spoilers for quite old game now. Didn't you end up going to space at the end? I never okay. managed I to never got to the end. I got as far it's... as I, I saw Lisa get. That's, I guess that's the how far I got. With the, <laughs> like, oh, the little sister light. Up uh, to the of the system is a door too. Say this again. Uh, in the in the wall over the cistern. Yep. Okay, like uh, up from the yep. cistern. Is, is there the door? It is. It's a, it's a door. It's a closed door. 
Can I see what's in the barrels? You can indeed. Um, You can do an investigation check. Can I investigate? Natural (laughs) one! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Natural one! You make an absolute racket. You knock some of the barrels over. You can't get it. You're making sounds about trying to get the lids off. Yeah, you haven't got nothing. You you haven't managed to get it. I'm just like, these are drums, right? To be honest with you, you've made a (laughs) massive. You're just making a massive amount of noise. Couldn't find the door handle. (laughs) Mistook them for drums. Ash, what did you want to do? To check out these barrels over here. I wanted to make sure they weren't dangerous in any sort of way. For yep. Me. Okay. So you can do another. You can do um, do an investigation check as well for me, please. Maybe eleven. Eleven. Um. You. After a little bit of time, you managed to get um the some of the um sort of barrel tops open um there doesn't appear to be anything of any kind of dangerous nature it's just food stuff so you can see um there's a barrel of like salted meat of some kind kind of almost like jerky there's um there's some sugar there's um some apples there's a really heavy barrel that's kind of when you sort of touch it it sloshes so you think maybe um it might be um uh, Something Rowan and Kala would be very interested in. Yeah, <laughs> or possibly not after uh, after last time. <laughs> uh, could I take some of the like jerky type? Yep. Stuff? Yep. Of course, you can take a handful of um, a handful of the sort of the salted pork and beef, um, which will will give you probably might give you some extra energy at some points if you need it. Can I investigate the rubble passage to see if it's um, kind of frequently um, used, just so I can see which way anyone down here might be using to get to where they need to go, like if the rubble passage is the main thoroughfare, or if that door near the pool is. Yep, okay, so um, what exactly would you like to check? Um, for d- disturbance, if the passage is quite clean from it being trodden a lot, if it has any footprints, um, basically just like if it's frequently used in any way or not. Okay. Um, so, John's you move yourself through slightly so you can actually see. Okay. So, managing to sort of see down this passage now. Um, it's um, large flagstones. Um, there's sort of thick dust lying over. Um, okay, so it's probably rarely used. Lying over the flagstones. Okay. Kava, maybe you could check if there's any. You can hear something over the closed door. Okay, okay. I was going to look at the water, but sure. Okay. Who's doing what? Oh, I've I gone back to the, the, the door. The door next to the. And the door next to the system. Well, as this is happening. Where's the door? As this is happening. Over the system. Here. Um, as this is happening, from out of the. Um, from this corner, you. Um, you hear. Start to hear sort of a little bit of noise. And somebody ah, um, comes rushing out of the door. They've obviously opened it very, very quietly and they come rushing out of the door and they come rushing towards you. The first person that they meet on the way is Rowan and they're going to take two swipes at you. Okay, okay. Okay. Eleven. And a miss. 20, natural 20. Uh, yellow. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oops. Armor class isn't quite that high. So it is going to do 12, po- 12 points of piercing damage to you. Ooh. Um, and you get the feeling that this person has come out of this, out of the door of the room. The noise that Iona was making when she was going through the barrels has caused, um, these uh the what whatever's going on whatever's through this door 
to suddenly um, to be just sort of disturbed. So if you could all roll initiative for me now, please. 15. Mm. 13 for me. Okay. 20. 13. 12. Okay. Okay. So now you um, now you get to go. So Aramil, you're up first. Okay. Um... Everyone is in your way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna move here to have um, just because anything I throw at him would probably. Hit the others. The others? Yeah. So, I'm coming just here to have... Let me check. Just let me check one thing. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cast uh, Ray of Frost. Okay. Against him. Yep, go for it. So it's uh, a range attack. Plus five. Okay, so plus five to twelve. Oh. Damn it. Um, that does not hit. So the next person up is going to be this. Oh, this guy who has also come out of the room and is oh. now heading to and is now heading towards you. Because whatever's been going on has completely has just disturbed these guys. And he is going to run forward, 5, 10, 15, 20, and he is going to try and stab Iona. Two. I think you're all yeah, right. Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's going to try and stab Iona, and he's going to try again with a 12. Still all right, my arm of class is 15. Okay. So, next up is... Iona! Hey! I try... I, I guess I try to stab the guy in front of me. Go for it. Natural 20! Okay, that, Holy that, shit. That, that definitely hits. Yeah. So you double whatever you roll on your dice and then add the modifier. Uh, d d where in the... Uh, my, that, my rapier is 1d8 plus... So you roll, um, roll a d8 and double it. Oh, eight doubled is sixteen plus, plus three. Plus three. Okay, um, 19, 19. 19. you totally you, with one thrust of the rapier, you totally take him out. How would you like to do it? <laughs> um, I, I, I guess just, just like through his face. Just, okay, just like you do. Oh, I the old rapier so. thrust. <laughs> to the, yeah, just. Brilliant. So you basically just um, shove your rapier through his uh, through his uh, uh, through his face through his, one of his eyes, and it makes a slurping sound as it goes into the guy's brain. And as you draw it back, he just crumples on the floor. The next up will be either Kala or Rowan. You both roll the same, so you can decide which one of you would like to go first. It's up to you, Kala. Who goes first? I don't mind. You go first. Thank you. Okay. I will um, take a swing at the gentleman in front of me. Okay. That's the one with the red dot, yes? That's a natural one. Okay, <laughs> so that totally and utterly misses. But um, as um, as a bonus action, can I use second wind to you, heal up? You can indeed. Thank you. Just saying, I've had like at least three natural 20s from this dice today. That's very but good. A couple of natural ones, but this is my favourite right now. That Very is better. 8 plus 2, so I gain 10. Excellent. Okay, so you've managed to heal up a little bit. So, Kala, it's now your turn. Um, If I try and shoot the guy who's um fighting Rowan, am I going to hit Rowan? No, you could pop with a good enough... Um, You have... He has, he has got cover, so you would have to move... If you moved... Slight, if you move to your left and kind of went kind of over like over the cistern, you would have line of sight into the into the water. No, you don't have to go into the water, but you could lean around him. 
Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, so if you move you move slightly to the left as though you're sort of like right onto like almost right into the cistern, then yeah, you'll be able to you'll be able to fire at him. Oh no, it's on the floor. I'll do that again. <laughs> We can't hear you. Fourteen? Fourteen. Oh, yeah. Fourteen does... Fourteen just hits. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, okay. Um, I keep forgetting how to play. Um... <laughs> Same. Same. <sighs> That's four points of damage. Okay, he goes, oh, and he's obviously so taken, taken a little bit of, um, taken a little bit of a hit, but it's not a huge amount. Rowan, how many point hit points are you on now? Twenty. Twenty. Thank you. Um, okay, so next up after that will be Ash. What would you like to do? Um. Yes, I'll go ahead and throw one of my daggers at the dude after moving a little bit so that way i'm not hitting kala okay so if you want to roll for that you go well that's probably not gonna hit but that is six ten no that does not <laughs> hit the dagger um the dagger as you move to throw um your throw goes wide and actually your dagger actually sticks into one of the barrels um, it's just there, kind of going. Yuck, 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 yuck. Serves them right. <laughs> so, yeah, damn barrels, <laughs> disturbing the peace. So Sorry. the next person up after that is um, the guy who's in front of Rowan, who is going to move. He's going to move up slightly, and he is going to take another stab at Rowan. Okay. Ten. Nope. And with his second swipe, he gets an eight. Nope. They both bounce Even off no. my chainmail. They both bounce off his chainmail. Um, at this point, another guy <sighs> comes out of the out of the room. Is this the door of Ever Bandit? <laughs> <laughs> Might well be. Um, comes out of the room Close and door. Um, and rushes forward. And he um, he rushes straight forward and goes for Aramil. That is squishy. Who is right in front? Who is basically right in his line of sight? Uh, that's a natural one with his first, <laughs> which means that um, even though he rolled a nineteen on the second, it will not hit um, because he's been because um, he's obviously he's on he's on these stairs. And he's sort of stumbling slightly as sort of Aaron Bill's parrying with his uh, um, staff. Stick. Yeah, so yeah, so it, that doesn't work. So we're back to the top of the round, which means it's now Aaron Bill's turn. Okay, let me check one thing. Oh, this. Mm. 15 foot. Okay, no. Okay. I was going to try and make a red brand roasted guy, oh, but no. I, it, 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 it's probably better not. Red brand roasties. Okay. Yeah. What are you gonna okay. do? Okay. So I'm going to chat roll on. Oh, oh, oh. another ray of frost to him which one uh to the guy that is just in front of me right in front of you okay okay it's 17. yeah that hits now it's 1d8 oh hold right. can i just check is the um yeah is that spe is that cantrip arranged a ranged attack. Uh, oh, yeah, true. Then you'll be rolling at disadvantage because he's right okay. up on, at, in melee range. Yeah, didn't realize it. 
Okay. It's 15 now. Okay, you still hit him. <laughs> okay. And, oh, it's two. Two points of damage. It's, um, yeah. it, it, the ray of frost kind of sit, kind of goes past and kind of crackles along this sort of what? red, this red cape that he's wearing and kind of the, the frost kind of goes across At it. least he, he can't move as fast. And he can't move as fast. Okay, um, is it half speed? Is it half until you're, until you're the It's, one? yeah, okay. Mm, so that's all, no? Okay. Next up, is, uh, next up, whilst we're finding that out, is Iona. <clears throat> um, I attempt to stab the dude in front of Rowan with my rapier. So are you, um, are you stabbing? Hold on, there's, um, there's... Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yep, go for it. 16... What's my roll to hit? Mm. I think plus five, lots, like 21. Yeah, that hits. <gasps> wow, plus five, that's so good. Uh, 1d8 plus six. Seven. Hold no, on. 1d8, no, 1d8 plus three, so four. Four. I can't maths. Four. Four. Right, okay. I rolled a one. Um, yeah, so um, again, you managed to um, you managed to sort of slice him, but he's still up, he's still up, and he's still going. Um, next up on the... Um, is going to be um, either Callow or Rowan. Do you, do you mind... Has Ash had a go yet? She's after. Ah, okay. Yeah, you go, Rowan. She's okay. had one go, and now it's going to be a after this, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take a swing at the guy in front of me again. Okay, go for it. Natural 20. Okay, that definitely hey! makes sense. So, uh, double, your, double your dice. Okay. So. That is... 17 damage. Um, yeah, how would you like to do that? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just... Cut him across the uh, the waistline. As it what? Well, no, that sounds bad. Above the waistline, we're PG thirteen. <laughs> but you know, just just you know, horizontal slash. Horizontal pressing. slash absolutely What's carves the guy in halvesies. It is. I can really just imagine him. Pun. Yeah. Doing that and an echoing in the thing. Horizontal slash. Horizontal slash. And it's just like, oh, you just see it's like KO <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Um, so it's um, so Rowan has uh, Rowan has taken taken that one out. So Kala, there's just the one left, which is currently in front of Aramil. Okay, can I use my movement to move fifteen feet to like the side? Um... Yeah, use a have a look. Yeah, I mean you can move. Yeah, you could go that far. You could go to yeah about that. Yeah, I'll I'll stay there, and then can I bonus action hunters mark him? You can indeed. Ooh. <laughs> and then I'll shoot him. Okay. What's a hunter's mark? It's good stuff. Okay. It's the good kush. The good kush. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the nine. That does not hit. God's sake. Okay, that's it then. Fine, so uh, now it's Ash's turn. Um... I could remember how to use the app again. <laughs> Great. How do I figure out the... It's the polygon line for figuring out how far away you are from I'll do, I'll do it for you. Okay, that's fine. I can totally move all the way over there. Yeah, you can absolutely move all the way. Get right up on top of him and stab at him with, or slash at him with my, um, what's the name of that thing again? Scimitar. Scimitar. Yeah, go. That thing. <laughs> gotta, gotta move some of my tissues here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen. No. 
plus four. So it's a 20. Uh, yeah, that hits him. The six. Six. Hold on. Four. Seven. That, that took a bit of brain. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, you have done some, you have done some damage to him. Iona, you, you've been, haven't you? This round. We, she has. Yeah, yes. you have. I haven't, I haven't missed anybody for once. No. <laughs> okay, so, um, it's now this guy's turn, and he is going to absolutely, um, he's going to try and, he's going to try and, and escape. Unfortunately, because of, of the, but because of the ray, but because obviously because of the ray of frost, um, he can't actually move. Yeah, uh, he can't actually move as far. So it's fifteen feet, which means that he's managed to run away from you to about Since there. And when he's just fleeing, can I do an attack we of be able yeah. like to when he and I can as well. try to? Can I? Wait, wait, wait! You can't all speak at once. When when he moves away from us, yep. wouldn't we have the like the reaction? Yeah, that's what you were all saying. So Ash, you um, because you were um right, Keller, because you weren't actually engaged in melee combat with him, you don't get the attack of opportunity. I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just saw he went past me and I thought no, that he could do that. I think, it's a, I think attack of space. opportunity is only if yeah. they move out of your space. When you're engaged, when you're already okay. engaged at melee. But I will double okay. check. I will double it's check. Fine, it's we'll fine. double check it because it's I, it's one of those rules that's always a bit of a weird one. But basically, two of you are basically he's had to run past two of you. So. Um, the, Ash and Aramil, which one of you would like to have an attack of opportunity first? Remember, you can't use spells, you can only use melee weapons. Okay. So we both have the attack of opportunity? You both have, a, you both have an attack of opportunity, okay. you just have to decide oh. which one of you is going to do okay, it Okay, I'm going. Okay. It's uh, 9 plus 4 is 13. Yeah, it does not hit. It is your fault. Okay. Ash and... like 24. Okay, that definitely does hit. So. <laughs> it's, it's over 20, it's all I need to know. <laughs> Sorry. Get your scimitar out um, and give him a slash as he runs past. That is 5, 6, 7, 8. How, how would you Much like easier to... to count out loud. How would you like to do this? <laughs> um, as he runs away, I kind of just flip my scimitar like to where it's backwards, so the like, the blade curves this way along my arm. Yeah. And slice it across the back of his neck. Oh, um, as he, she, as he go, as he um runs past you, um, and you do that, you manage to you slice through his jugular. Um, the sp arterial spray covers Iona. Iona's back, like splurts all over Iona's back as he um, as he crumples to the ground, kind of making a um, like a, a kind of like kind of gasping, bubbling sound as he tries to kind of like call out or say something, and he drops to the floor. The blood just gradually pulsating out of his neck, less and less as he. DND Kill Wheel Edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all of them are dead. Kunkaloo! Um, I'd like to search the one in front of me that doesn't have eyes anymore. Um, <laughs> and kind of see what they had on them. Anything to indicate it, just anything at all. You, so... I'd like to search the one that I dispatched. Okay. Um, so, Iona, um, if you'd like to, um, would anyone else like to do anything? So, you've got basically, so Iona is checking out one of them. Oh, um, check. Ash this is one. checking out the other. Oh, I'll try to check this one, like the right one. And you're going to try and check. So, if all of three of you then could do a perception check, would any, would um, Kala and Rowan, would you like to be doing anything whilst this is going on? Perception or Can investigation? I... Investigation, sorry. sorry. Oh, okay. Um, 
kill I want. No. <sighs> okay, I can go to the door and see if like anybody else is gonna come in if there's anybody else there. That's fine, you can do that. So um so who got what for the investigation? Eighteen. Okay. Ash? Nine. Oh sorry. Ash. Ash? Uh eighteen. Sorry. And um and you got nine. Okay. Yeah. Um so um as you're uh, rifling through um Aramil, I think you've probably you've got the the sort of I don't know, the skint one. Um, you've managed to find um hold on you have managed to find 12 silver pieces in a pouch of one of them okay okay um ash the one that you're um and obviously what he's wearing the, the sort of his um his sort of basic armor the red cape that he's wearing which is all looking a little bit sort of dirty and a bit bloodstained now um ash the one that you're holding looks like he might have been the um the sort of the one who was maybe more in charge he actually has um 15 um i think it's electrum pieces which is worth quite a lot and 15 pardon 15 15 just write 15 ep i'll get the transference right the transfer rate for you mm. as well and two garnets and um iona uh the one that you're rooting through um exactly the same it's got um you know the armor cape and so on yeah um and on his um on his little in a little pouch by his belt he has 16 silver pieces and seven gold pieces um Kala, you um the door that you can see is actually slight uh, slightly ajar it obviously was closed before but it's now um it's obviously been opened by the people coming out of it so what would you like to do open it slowly and look inside Ugh. okay so um so if you do that um you have um you have a pretty decent passive perception so i won't make you roll um as you look inside oh you move the entire map by accident that's what you end up happens doing. all the time whoopsie whoopsie doodle um it's because i am i'm just trying to click on the right things and i'm not clicking on the right things this is what you see okay uh rowan would you like to do anything uh no i'm kind of just waiting to see what my party members come up with okay so Wait for instruction. in this area um that you've got that you see a couple of beds and lots of um barrels and crates oh investigate them okay see if we can find something yep, interesting go on, i go through there as well okay so go on in do an investigation check Oh, God damn it. It's 13. Um, okay. Um, the, the, uh, it takes you a little little while to surprise the tops open, but it all looks very much like the stuff that you found in the previous room. Um, looks like sort of storage. Could I ask, is there any salt, maybe? Is there any salt? Yeah. <laughs> there was salt in one of mine. Salted, there's salted pork. So there is. There oh, it's not um, not raw salt. No, there is um the sugar, okay. but no actual salt. Okay. okay. I mention to um well the, the party um the other passage leading to the north that didn't seem like it was trodden, uh, at least not any time recently, and this place seems to be a dead end. So where could they be coming from? I I doubt this is the main. Red band hide red brand hideout. There's two beds and some barrels. I mean all our intel pointed to here, so let's do a bit more investigating before we leave. Color, you wanted to look at the water, I believe, earlier. Yeah. I think there might be something with the system. And just like 
look in it. Um, see if like, is it water or is it something else? Is it like flowing? Is there anything in it? That okay. jazz. Um, could you do um, a perception check for me then, please? Nine. Um, okay, you um, you look at it and you um, what you all you can see is that it is um, it's a rectangular reservoir filled with cold fresh water. Um, it's probably the rim of it. It's probably only about sort of two feet up from the floor. Um, you're not quite sure. You know, you can't tell from from what where you're standing just from looking. Um, where how deep it might be um it sort of it looks like maybe it doesn't it looks um, on the level yeah it looks perfectly it looks like just it looks like a reservoir of water and uh what did you spot iona uh through the rubble did you say there was a passageway but it wasn't used often yes it was covered in dust it didn't seem to be well traveled it might be a second entrance to the main area, though, just not used as often because it's led with traps and ghoulies. We don't know. Ghoulies. Might be worth everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the back terrifying. corner, since it has like less barrels and it looks kind of weird, that's why they wouldn't keep barrels in that corner. Okay, so if you could please do, um, you need to do a perception check. Yay, my favorite. Eleven. So good at perceiving. Okay. I mean, you, if I wouldn't have rolled like shit. You, <laughs> go, I mean... you um, you pur- you purposely go to this area, and you kind of you. Yeah, luckily, the, the 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 area has been lit up by the torch that was bro- been brought in. You kind of though there are lots of shadows. You can kind of feel things, and you remember how it felt when you found around the flagstone. Um, the kind of gap that you felt around it to indicate that there was some kind of a door, like an entranceway. And as you put your hand around the air, you start to feel a gap. It feels very much like the outline. Damn, Druid! The outline of a door. And as you sort of move your hand to the side you feel what feels very much like a kind of it's like god looks like cobwebs and things over the over the top of it but it looks there feels like there might be a hollow behind it could i and see if it's dangerous before i try to open it you can um you could certainly try do a perception check detect evil on the door over the ones i did not put detect magic as one of my i can't do that um that is a 13. you said a perception or investigation i want you to do perception perception so that's 13, 16. okay um it all seems absolutely it all seems fairly mechanical and fairly fine as you put your uh, you put your hand in you feel a kind of ring Rowan come pull on this I'm probably not strong enough to do it <laughs> come strength monkey <laughs> <laughs> I mean let's be real here <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> if the I need your hand... assistance, please. Out of character, because obviously Rowan wouldn't notice. If the handle's on that side, though, isn't it pushed from our side? I mean, with, with enough pull strength, pull any push any... doors a pull door. Maybe I'm, I'm understanding this wrong? I might <laughs> be tired. Is it like a kind of sort of like a latch that you could pull on underneath it, or is it like a hole in through the door and then the... It... All you can feel at the moment is there's um there's a circular hole. You put your hand through, oh. and you can grab hold of something and pull. Ah, uh, that's my yes. misunderstanding. Yeah, I'll okay. pull. I'll pull it if you want me to. 
Okay. Yes, please. Can you walk out That's what he said. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Do a strength check for me, please. That's, With advantage, because uh, that made me laugh. Because <laughs> I'm feeling kind. Yeah, 21! Hey! Okay. Um, you reach in, you um, get hold of this ring, and you pull. And um, it's kind of, you can hear the of a chain as you pull it and the mechanism like whirring and grinding as the door as you pull the chain the door swings open oh. and behind the door is a dark passage and that is where we're going to finish for the day oh. <laughs> 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 well, long, we didn't die how did you know there'd be something there? That was outstanding! Out of everywhere in this place, there's literally nowhere else. The barrels up top fill the entire area. Mm. The barrels in the bottom leave a nice little area for somebody to walk through. You video smarty game pants. I gave you a lower DC because of that. Yeah. Nice. I was like, that is some good, like, good, good thinking. So, yeah. <laughs> That was fantastic. Thank you, Lise. You are very, very welcome.